All right, so today I'm going to explain to you why I feel like the Hawks need to move away from John Collins and other role players within the team. So let's start off with Collins. Collins is a very, very useful role player. He's a very productive player. He averages 16.2 points, 8 rebounds, 1.8 assists, shooting 52% from the field, 36% from three. Very good stats for a prototypical power forward. However, he's getting paid 25 mil. And that's the issue because the Hawks have so many guys that are just solid role players slash good starters that are getting paid and they have no stars next to Trey Young. And if you see this season, that's kind of what's holding them back because I know Collins is injured at the moment, which is obviously a massive blow. Trey Young has no secondary star. Collins is a nice starter. He's not a star. And look at all the contending teams. I don't even have to name all of them. They have at least two guys that are an all-star and maybe another guy that is borderline all-star. John Collins isn't that. And with the contract he currently has, yeah, it's not it. Because look at Miles Bridges. He may get a similar payday. However, he's more dynamic. He's a better scorer. And, I just, and he can create his own shot, which is better value for the money that you're paying John Collins. But my point is, is that forget Miles Bridges. They need to move some pieces. I don't think Capella should be moved because he is such a useful centre, especially with Trey Young in the pick and roll. Unless you trust Okongu that much, who I think is a great potential player. However, in the role of a backup five, he should keep developing. And it's a role that he's thriving in right now. I feel like Capella should still be on the team coming next season. But just the likes of a DeAndre Hunter, I don't know. Like, How many of those guys are you going to keep? Because he's going to need to get paid. I know they traded Cam Reddish for that exact reason. But are they going to pay DeAndre Hunter? Is it beneficial to pay him or would it be more beneficial to maybe package him with John Collins and get that second star next to Trey Young? I don't really know, but all I know is that that team needs changes, car. Them and there, the 10th seed. And the 10th seed is like a playing team, which means they potentially could go from the Eastern Conference Finals to not making the playoffs, which will be a disaster. And yes, Collins has missed time, but look at almost every team in the league. They've had a player that's missed significant time. So it's not really an excuse. And the team has been underperforming this season like flat out and it's not Nate McMillan's fault he's a fantastic coach Trey Young has been balling his ass off like he's been their best player by far so there's other moves that just need to be made to provide help for Trey Young so I don't know what that's going to be but all I know is that whatever it is if they do make a mood, move it has to be big if you ask me not really a move around the edges because that's what they've been doing these whole season they've just been just making like moves this. around the edges and i feel like it's time that trey young finally gets his second star and i don't know who that's going to be but if you look at the past few seasons there's always been that star that becomes available and of every team that can be available in the mix the hooks have the assets they have nice young players they have an array of first round picks and they just have players that teams would desire to have for example john collins is a desirable asset like i'm a sixers fan i would trade john collins for tobias harris in a heartbeat which sounds dumb because maybe toby might be slightly better however collins is earning less money and he fits better to uh next to james and then b because he's a just as good shooter as tobias harris as of recent as of lately the past few seasons and is a great pick and roll player and is a versatile defender so john collins is the type of player that a lot of teams will want but it's just what can you get for him you get what i'm trying to say but i'm rambling at this point so i'm gonna end the video but yeah just tell me what you think about this video and i'm out